10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bob and Doug. America has launched. And so rises a new era of American space flight and with it the ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9 and look at them go. Falcon power telemetry nominal. M1D throttle down. We're throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. Reports say all systems are go. Vehicle is supersonic. We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. M1D throttle up. We're throttling back up to full power as we're through Max-Q. Copy, one Bravo. And we heard that one Bravo call out. That's just the second aboard zone that they're in. They'll continue to be on this until the first stage has done its job and they switch over to the second. At this point, Bob and Doug pulling about 2.3 Gs, 2.3 times the Earth's gravity, already moving at over 1,500 miles per hour. We've heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. That's getting the MVAC engine ready to light. That'll come at about 2.44 into flight. Right now, everything continuing to look good. Next major event coming up is gonna be the triple. We'll have main engine cutoff of the nine first stage engines, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine to continue to carry astronauts into orbit. Coming up in about 20 seconds. M M1D throttle down. We heard we're throttling down the Merlin engines on the first stage. And we have Miko. Miko. Two Alpha. Falcon stage separation confirmed. Copy two Alpha. MVAC ignition. All right, we have stage separation confirmed. The first stage beginning its flight back. The second stage being powered by that single Merlin 1D vacuum engine has ignited and is now carrying walks. Bob and Doug into orbit. So they're going to continue under the power of this second stage. Stage two propulsion is nominal which will cut off at SECO, or second engine cut off, at about 8 minutes and 44 seconds into today's flight. So a little over 5 minutes to go still on this second stage. You heard the call out to Alpha, so they're now in the longest abort zone that carries them all the way from about North Carolina up the eastern seaboard almost to Canada. Things looking good, though, getting good call outs, nominal propul pul propulsion on that second stage. Bob and Doug continuing to make their way into orbit. Dragon SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Acquisition of signal in Bermuda. SpaceX Dragon, nominal trajectory. All right, here in nominal trajectory, so Dragon pointed in the right direction, continuing to make their flight uphill. Heard acquisition of signal Bermuda. That's one of the other ground stations that they're using to get telemetry and data back from this spacecraft. Stage two propulsion is still nominal. We're on a nominal trajectory. Just about 10 seconds away from that first stage, starting that entry burn on your right screen. We should be able to see that view live. Stage one entry burn startup. And there is that entry burn that beginning. Burn. This burn lasts about 36 seconds long. Stage two FTS is saved. That 
entry burn continues. We're just about a minute away from SECO. We'll have a number of events all happen in rapid succession. Uh, it'll Talking be the shutdown. second engine cutoff. Stage one we'll be looking for down. that uh, stage one landing burn shortly after. Yeah, actually, just within a few seconds of each other. It's such a cool view on your left screen, seeing Bob and Doug on Dragon. Right now, you can see the displays that they are seeing right now themselves. Terminal guidance. And back throttle step. We are coming up 25 seconds or so away from SECO, or second engine cutoff. This is also the point where Bob and Doug are experiencing their highest G-force. We're seeing the counter tick up to right about 4.8. Copy, Shannon. You heard Shannon, so that just means they're in their final abort zones. If they were to abort at this point, it would either be an abort to orbit or to land off the coast of Ireland. Standing by for second one cutoff started. confirmation. And back throttle step. And back shut down. Stage one landing layer. Confirmation of Seco second engine cutoff. Now we are waiting for our first stage to make its way to our drone ship. Of course, I still love Dragon, you. Dragon SpaceX nominal orbital insertion. Launch escape system is nominal orbital insertion. Nominal orbital insertion. And what you're seeing on your screen is a live view of our drone ship, where our first stage will be coming down. Looks like we lost that live view, but we'll wait for confirmation of that landing shortly here. Falcon 9 first stage is successful. You can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. This is the first Falcon 9 to carry humans to orbit, so very exciting for us. And as you can see on your right screen, Bob and Doug are still making their way to their targeted orbit. <laughs> M1D to recovery one. So exciting today. <laughs> it doesn't stop. It does not stop. Okay, uh, as we work our way towards one of the windows, uh, unfortunately it's getting a little bit dark, but uh, I don't know if Bob can pan over here. We're now, we just passed off of the coast of Newfoundland and we're headed over to, uh, or over the Atlantic right now. I don't know if you can uh, get a good picture of that. Anyway, um, hope you enjoy that view um, as we pass over the Atlantic. And uh, I think with that, we will work ourselves back into the seats and uh, wrap things up for this evening. Doug's there, uh, making a nice big smile for the camera. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the trip today with us on board the uh, Dragon Capsule Endeavor with our friend Trimmer, the Apatosaurus, uh, and Doug and I. We just would like to uh, thank SpaceX, we'd like to thank NASA, and we'd like to thank the, uh, the American people for the opportunity today. And we're really proud of the entire team that was able to accomplish human space flight again from the Florida coast. Uh, just a wonderful experience. Uh, Doug and I are just so proud to be a part of it and just uh, want to thank uh, everybody who gave us uh, this opportunity and worked so hard uh, to make this happen today. So with that, uh, I think it'll be good night from Capsule Endeavor. Good night to everyone at NASA, at SpaceX, and the United States, and congratulations to the teams that got us into orbit. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing uh, Chris Cassidy and uh, his Russian colleagues on board the International Space Station uh, tomorrow morning. Good night, Megan and Theo. And Karen and Jack.